Ah, uh, welcome back everyone. My name is Megzer. I'm back here with more Borderlands 2. In the last episode, we stormed Jack's stronghold and now we have and defeated the bunker. So now all we need to do is open this security door. Preparing so. bioscan. Please stand on the Hyperion emblem. Scanning bio signature. Ooh, neat. Fancy. Bio signature confirmed. Hello, sexy. Awaiting password. The password is, I love you. That voice modulator had better work or this will all be for nothing. Oh, we have to actually say it? Okay. I love you. Access granted. Consider this your final warn- No, consider this my final warning. Turn around and I promise I'll make it quick. But I swear. You take one more step, every soul back in Sanctuary will die, staring at their own lungs as I rip them from their chests. That is graphic. Sounds like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Oh wait, they already did it. The yeah. could never charge the vault key. It needs a catalyst, something to awaken its power. It needs a siren. Jack acquired his siren catalyst a long time ago. He kept her hidden from the world for years, but finally, you will be able to set her free. Hmm. Neat. Now I'm just wondering. I played this game, so I already know what's. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I detect you're getting close. Hurry and reach me. You must get the vault key and deal with me. Deal with you, you say. Control Core Angel. Uh-oh. That can't be good. <laughs> that really can't be good if it says Control Core Angel of all things, but whatever. <sighs> Just let's go with the flow. Alright, so we need to hurry up and run past here, so I think now our voice modulator is gone, so we don't have to deal with that crap. What the Executing phase shift. Whoa. The key is here, but to truly stop Jack from waking the warrior, you cannot just steal the vault key. You must destroy his catalyst. You must destroy him. Me. Uh-oh. Jack spent years pumping me full of iridium, using me to charge his key and manipulate his enemies. Destroying the iridium injectors that keep me alive will stop the key from charging, and it will end a lifetime of servitude. You got the hell away from my right door! What the hell are you doing, Angel? Stop! Come on! 
be fair though, her timing could not be more perfect than I made it. Behind the Scorpio Tower? Alright. Red that little fire. Positional bulky. It's time to take down Handsome Jack. All right, let's go. Nani, part two. She's dead. Jack just lost his only way to awaken the warrior. We got the bulky, but this isn't over yet. We gotta find Jack and take him out. Lily, take the bulky to Tess. I'm going to Jack. Still? According to the game? Yeah, it says return. Marcus Munitions Storeroom. Okay, so we somehow got teleported to the back of Marcus's place. And now we're just gonna rob Marcus blind. Why? Uh, I don't know. There, like, really is no reason why you would rob Marcus blind at this point. It's like, hey man, you shouldn't have left it around. It wasn't left around, it was in my back room. Uh, sucks to be you then. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what ha what we're doing to Marcus. It's like, uh, okay. Oh, sucks for you. You left it laying here. Oh well. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh but Don't worry, whatever. Dude. I'll take good care of you. Uh, let's just pick up all the cash. It, it's just kind of annoying though because you had to go through 
each individual box and grab it. Uh, let's see. Man, this guy needs to get this place clean. But then again, he does have a lot of chests in here. It's like, God, good lord. You're holding out on me, Marcus. What the frig? I thought I was your best customer. Then again, he's probably lying his ass off when he says that to people. Uh, man, this is dark. Well, at least on my screen, I can't see crap. Uh, and by the way, you can never get back in here, so make sure to pick up the stuff you can. So now it's time for us to return to Sanctuary. <laughs> Even though we are already in Sanctuary, it was really just a tiny little place that we were separated from. Hey Marcus. What the? How the hell did you get back there? The oh, friggin' Vault Hunters. Son of a bitch. Rub me blind. <laughs> yeah. And we're Angel Street of Trent. We Are get a bunch okay? of experience already. Did I get you to Sanctuary? I feel wrong. This device Jack's using on me. Hmm. Neat. And there's another side quest that popped up. Yeah, we're gonna get these a lot. Anyways, though, let's go turn into the one we have to turn in right away. That being uh, Clap Trap. And hopefully getting that done right away. There, yay. Robots that can't dance? Ew. Yep, there we go, Statue S turned in. Now it's time. Freaking A, now more side quests that popped up. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Great, now I gotta do more. We'll probably see those and then we'll probably end the episode there. It's like, alright, what side quests do we really need to take on? And then we'll be like, alright, yeah, there. Side quest done. Hurry up, let's end this, please. Please! <laughs> There's a, alright, alright, alright. Poor guy, here, turn this up. What? Bear bad news. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roland. Son of a bitch. Paul Hunter, all we got left. Jack killed Roland, he killed Bloodwing, but he is not gonna kill Lilith. Jack still needs time to charge the vault key. You just need to find out where this warrior is buried. There's only one place on Pandora that will have that kind of info. The Hyperion Info Stockade. Get there. And that requires us going to the Iridium Blight, but we're going to do... We're going to look at a few side quests first. First, though, talk to Brick and get his. Boy, Wait. Pandora, my daughter is dead. Murdered by the Vault Hunter. So I've decided I'm rescinding the bounty on the Vault Hunter. If you should kill that child murdering son of a bitch before I do, I will find you, and you will regret denying me my vengeance. Dark. Hey. Hey, Slash. Got something for you. Alright, Sawtooth Bandits. Alright, let's hear what it is. I don't just want to steal the Sawtooth's bomb, Slab. I want to steal their pride. You fly our Slab flags over their camps in Sawtooth Cauldron. And we'll show Mortar's men who the real badasses are. Oh, I hate that side quest so much. I remember it. I remember it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Well, let's go hey, see all the Sam. other side quests. What the? All the other side quests that have literally just popped up within the city. I can tell you, I say literally just popped up. A bad day at Lynchwood Demon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that one. It's a giant skag. Oh God, what does it want? What the hell do you want? <laughs> that can't be good. Hey, remember our little uh, skag buddy? Uh, he grew pretty big after only eating a little bit. I wonder how big he's actually gotten. That can't be good. Anyways, we got one from Marcus over here. Lanceman, attention. Hey, Destiny is a I funny it. thing. I Let's one see. Question to oh, ask this. All of you. I was making change for some idiot named Kai a few weeks back and gave him a 10 instead of a 1. I need you to track him down and get the 9 bucks he owes me. He was mumbling into an echo device when he came in. Maybe you can track him by finding his transmissions. Okay. Well, 
you know what? Let's go see that one real quick, but then again, Somebody if that ball's just leaving real quick. Uh, I think it does. Let's, yeah, that ball's just leaving real quick, so we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is that we're just going to get the rest of the side quests that happen to be floating around in the city, because good lord, they just give you so many. It's like, we do, like, three main missions, and then bam, uh, back to doing side quests, because they give you so god dang much! Then again, this is an RPG, so, Eric, Zed, what side quest do you, you need want? Cash? I need things I don't want talked about. Let's talk. You know what's great about you. You don't ask questions. I ask Even questions. You give me a few creature parts and never ask why, ever. That'd be awesome. <sighs> Collect spider ant parts. So we had to go kill spider ants. Yay. That require us to go back to a few older places in the game. This is dumb. Oh, this, this is one. This bastard that probably stole it in the first place. Gee, Jim, you're awfully quick to start pointing fingers. Come on, guys, we're friends. Let's calm down. This is so dumb. It's a truck. It's a truck you can stand off. <laughs> uh, Vault Hunter? Little help? Look, it's a long story. No, it's a short story. I write short stories. We were supposed to divide the take four ways, but somebody up and nicked it before we could split it up. Oh, those idiots still screaming at each other? Marshall Freeman here. If, if you want to do me a solid and shut those morons up so I can get back to my nap, that, know that only one of them will tell you the truth. The other three are liars. If you could figure out which one of them robbed the other and pop in the head for me, uh, that'd be awesome. I mean, and then you get all these, you try to figure out who is the one telling the truth. So you want to talk to all of them first. Look, between you and me, oh, Cantler's the thief. When we were making out, he was all, yeah, baby, I'm gonna steal all that money. And I was like, no, don't do that. And he's like, oh, yeah, baby, I'm gonna. And I was like, that's so wrong. Sam stole the cash, without question. After she and oh, Cantler were done, Celebrating her. I saw her stuff the loot down her pants. Okay. Sam's full of crap. Okay. Look, given what we know about human consciousness, I can be certain of only one thing. I didn't steal the money. I know my own mind, and I know my mind didn't steal it. If I knew everyone else's minds, I might be able to help you a bit more, but sadly, I can only speak for myself, and I'm doing that now. Speaking to say that I didn't steal the money. Well, this guy is the one who stole the money because he's the one who has the cash sign on the back, so... Huh. Guess Jim did steal the cash. But we were friends. That's sad. But maybe we... Maybe we learned something. Yeah, we learned that Jim stole the cash. <laughs> hey, 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 hold up. Figure out who stole the loot. You defused the tense situation. Yeah, we shot the dude. Hey, thanks for saving 75% of us. Take this. Saving 75% of us. Oh, well. And yeah, these guys just go out and exist. Well, I say exist, but you know what I mean. They they'll disappear after a bit. You know, the typical blah 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 blah. You know what they do in video games where they exist, and then they disappear because they don't want to exist anymore. Unlike Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> everyone wants a reason to exist in that game. Then again, I should be playing that soon as well. But I already got enough of my play when it comes to games. And we're gonna get our last side quest, the one that's the most depressing one. I feel like is the right way we should close out the video. Got something he's doing. The folks in Sanctuary don't know about Roland. Almost none of them would still be alive if it weren't for him. So you might want to let him know. Stay alert. I would be doing this in full quiet, but I want to play something in the near the end of the episode. It's kind of like for this, but eh. you know what? Let's let's get this going.
Rollins. Dead. Oh. Me and him didn't see eye to eye most of the time. He never liked how I sold guns to the bandits. But I would have died in New Haven if it weren't for him. He was a... He was a good man. He was a good man. He didn't deserve to die. And it's all Lilith's fault. Well, for being honest, it, it really is. It really is Lilith's fault for the reason why everything happened. It really is. Um, let's see. Go talk to Zed about this. Hold up. Roland's dead? Oh, God. I remember the first time we met. I healed him up after he killed some of Nine Toes' men. He seemed nice enough. Quiet. But, damn, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. He deserved better. Now it's time to go talk to Scooter. Heck, I played a little bit of the original Borderlands. I could kind of see why it's like really messed up. Fight the good fight, but <laughs> man, no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> I tell you, man, I'll never forget that time Roland and all them jumped over Pizwash Gully. Them good times. Hell, man, now I'm sad. Is this what sad feels like? You kill the crap out of Jack. You hear? Oh, I will. I will kill the crap out of Jack because this man deserves it so hard for what he did. <laughs> He's a terrible, horrible, awful person and honestly should be flayed alive. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this man just. He deserves it so hard. Jack killed Roland? Son of a bitch. He helped me take care of Mr. Shank, and I'm like, well, damn near everyone around here. He always behaved like a gentleman. I don't... I don't know what to say. Damn it, am I crying? Good man. Just see. And I'll put something at the end for this. So that way you know that we can have like the whole conversation going. We have to talk to Brick and we have to talk to Tannis as well. So let's hurry up and get Tannis out of the way because she's down here. Had Roland not forced me to relocate to Sanctuary, I would not be alive today. I am unpleasantly surprised to find that I am sorry that Roland is dead. And we have the last one where we tell Brick. They didn't see I died. Man kicked him out of his home, but man, did he not deserve this. Mordecai told me what happened to Roland. So here's what we do. We bury Roland. We save this planet. And we kill Jack. His associates, his friends, his family, everyone he's ever met. We skin them with their own god. Damn teeth! <sighs> Sorry. We went our separate ways a few years back, but Roland was my friend, and nobody, nobody hurts my friends! Sorry to bum you out like that, but somebody needed to tell him. I've transmitted the code to Roland's armory to your Echo device. If anyone deserves what's in there, it ought to be the badass who's gonna avenge him. Now we open up his armory chest, which in a sense kind of feels messed up, but it's like, alright, you know what, we're gonna get the weapons that this man used, and then we're gonna use it to kill Jack, cause god dang, this is this... <laughs> Jack needs to die. It's like, all these things right here, just... Problem is, like, if there was full of legendary weapons, that would've been better. <laughs> like, Sonic should have that, like, I don't know, something specific to Roland. And it's like, all right, yeah, we use this to kill Jack. Turn this in. Hurry up. Come on, man. Don't let this all be for nothing, amigo. Find Jack. Kill Jack.
And there's one more thing I want to have for this video before we end it out because if there's anything that this should have been cut from the game because it was so everyone my name is Meg Zero I'll show you the cut content along with the dialogue and I'll catch you all later well instead thank you for, thank you for telling me please go now